This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the pro game design process. All right, let's see. Check for winner. Your game should be pretty playable by now. Yes, it is. And if yours isn't, go back and do the other parts of this lesson. If you're stuck, watch my other tutorials. Two players can click their respective buttons. Yes, we can. Click, click, click. <laughs> um, and the emojis will race down the screen. We still need a way for a player to win, though. Using the conditional inside the check win, so there must be an if statement in check win, not yet. Using the conditional inside the check win function, you oh, using a, yep, you want to check if the one each time they click. Okay, for now, we can just use council log to report the winner. Add an if statement at the bottom of check win, control if. And notice it tells us that in the comments, remember comments are for programmers, they can help us out, the computer just skips over them. Add an if statement, yep, for, for the condition of your statement, check if player y is greater than 350. Okay, so if that player underscore y, whoops. is greater than 350. Oh, I was thinking it'd be higher than that. So if our character goes below 350, uh, Y, so that somewhere down here, oh, no, I'll leave it at 350. In your conditional, add the council log. Okay, so now we're gonna log the player's location once it's greater than 350. So that would be 360 if we're moving down by 10. Let's give it a shot. Play. Which one? Right it is. Bum 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 bum. Oh, so why? I forgot. Why is from the top of the image? Huh. Cool. Yep, it does. Awesome. Let's keep going. 